I first got a job working at Vogue and I was an assistant to two market editors. So I was in the hallways when Grace was planning a trip to Nashville, Tennessee. I used to work for an editor called Carlene Cerf, worked a lot with Patrick Demarchi and Didier Malige. Wonderful Didier Malige who suggested to Grace that we should meet when she was looking for a new assistant. And Didier kindly offered to talk to his girlfriend who happened to be Grace. And I had driven cross country from Arizona to New York, so I knew some great restaurants in Nashville and I was able to kind of introduce myself through that. And a couple months later, she needed a new assistant and she asked me if I wanted to be her assistant. And then, lo and behold, a week later, her assistant quit and she gave me a call and that all worked out. So thanks, Didier. Thank you, Didier. My first day was literally, I was just like, ah! <laughs> Never having worked on a shoot before in a foreign country, when it was exciting. It's all one big blur. You taught me how to fight. You taught me how to tell a story. You taught me the importance of a good laugh. Value the people that are interesting beyond the noise. My personal style is kind of the opposite of Grace's personal style, so I would say probably nothing really rubbed off. There's aspects that I wish to emulate, even though I may fail. I don't think Grace influenced my personal style. Do you? One of my favorite memories is working on a Stephen Klein shoot. One of our trips was to Morocco, and she and I landed in Marrakesh. And we went out to dinner together because the rest of the team hadn't arrived yet. The next thing I saw was Grace running up a hill and then running back down a hill with a jewelry tray. And they gave us all these little bowls of dishes and things. We didn't really know what they were. I didn't really know what they were. That to me exemplifies Grace. If she needs something, she gets on with it, she does it. We just started eating them and then they sent over an English speaking waiter and he told us that one of them was lamb's brains and we both had to just stop eating at that point. I'd have to say the most inspiring thing would be her joy of life and the way she approaches every project. With Grace, you're never not inspired. Total sort of single pointed dedication. And then it was never done for her until the magazine actually shipped. Grace were an animal, maybe a black panther. I think Grace would be a leopard. Pomeranian because they have the same hair and they're both sassy and cute. Panthers are such like sort of fierce, powerful. The leopards are very brilliant, beautiful. All dressed in black. Who doesn't want a leopard in their corner? And Grace, I just want to say thank you to you for being an amazing boss and an amazing mentor. For being a beacon of sanity in an insane world. For the opportunity of a lifetime. And for taking that chance on me in the very beginning. I enjoyed every minute I got to stand next to you. I enjoyed every minute I got to work with you. You always continue to impact lots and lots and lots of parts of my life. If I had to describe Grace in one word. Can't do it. Won't do it. Badass. Determined. Passionate. Is that one word? Confusing. The word I would use is grace. <sighs> I think grace should just be the word. That's as happy as I'm gonna get. Mm -hmm.